big fire tonight, guys. It's freezing. Man, it is cold. Oh, could you point that thing someplace else? Sorry. Gesundheit. You got a cold? Nah, it's just allergies. <coughs> you sure? Didn't you get your flu shot? No way. You got a flu shot? Every year. Don't you guys? Not me. Me neither. I have a thing about needles. It's just a little shot. And it's way better than getting sick. There's nothing worse than getting a shot. Really? Well, I can think of something. And that's exactly what my story is about. If you get really sick, somebody's got to take care of you. Somebody who knows how to make you better. And you have to trust that person, because they know what's best for you, right? Well, what would happen if the person who was taking care of you was the one person in the world you should fear the most. And nobody believed you. Nobody knew. And nobody could help. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story, The Tale of the Night Nurse. We love you! Yes, a whole month with no one to tell us what to do. And what about Gramps? I can handle Gramps. Grab my suitcase. What? Girls! Grandpa! My two angels! Oh, let's get you out of this cold! I said grab the bags. Why do I suddenly feel like Cinderella? <sighs> I guess. Come on. Don't go tracking snow into this house, Missies. Well, we just came in to apologize. For what? AJ almost hit that woman with a snowball. Gee, thanks. What woman? The one who came in with a little boy, carrying presents. Birthday presents? Yeah. Where is she? Is there nobody here? But we just saw a lady and a boy. I said there was nobody here.
malfunction. It must have been a party next door last night. It wasn't next door. I saw people in the dining room. <laughs> what a shame. Twelve years old and already demented. I am not. I know what I saw. Hush and eat your breakfast. You can't have that. Nick AJ. Nikki. What now? AJ's allergic to strawberries. One bite and it's bloat city. It's disgusting. I'm sorry, honey. I forgot. It's okay. I was going to eat around them. Let me clean up that mess. Don't, Gramps. It's AJ's mess. She'll do it. You saw the birthday girl? You know? I was hoping you girls wouldn't be bothered while you were here, because I didn't want you getting all scared. <laughs> bothered? By what? Well, the ghost. You see, a long time ago, a little girl just about your age, JJ, fell down the front stairs doing a birthday party. That's what I saw. She was carrying presents. It was her birthday. She died on her birthday? She didn't die in the fall. She hurt her leg and had to stay in bed. The girl's mother hired a nurse to take care of her at night. But as the story goes, the nurse was a little crazy. One night when the girl was sleeping, the crazy nurse filled a hypodermic needle with poison and gave it to her while she slept. Poor thing, never woke up. She was murdered? Why? Nobody knows. The night nurse claims she was innocent till the day she died. In prison. Cool. Not cool, sad. How do you know all this? This trunk was brought up here when I bought the place. The family must have forgotten it. That's the girl I saw fall down the stairs. Her name was Emily. Hey, look, it's her birthday dress. Night nurse convicted in death of girl. What a creep. Why do you think she keeps coming back? Unfinished business. That's always why ghosts come back. Well, maybe she's trying to tell us something. Now that you know, I don't want you girls messing around where you don't belong. Let the dead rest in peace. Understand? <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. Grandpa doesn't want us messing around. Stop being such a wuss. Look, you're the one who said the ghost is trying to tell us something. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, but... Let's do this. <sighs> happy birthday, Emily! Yeah, happy birthday! We got a cake for you! It's really good! We put your name on it and everything! <sighs> Suddenly, I'm feeling really dumb. Me too. Well, at least we get to eat the cake. Make a wish. Okay. Uh, I wish we could make the ghost appear. <sighs> Time for your medicine. She was 
was right there with a needle. I knew you two were gonna scare yourself to death with this ghost business. But it's true, it was the night nurse, or her ghost. The only ghost I've seen in here in all the years I lived here is that poor, harmless little girl. But you, I mean, you could see what? her. Nothing. Forget about ghosts and clean up this mess. <sighs> well, you gonna help? I've got a better idea. Don't worry, I clean the mess up myself. What are you doing? If the ghost is trying to tell us something, then we should try to figure it out. Well, any luck? No. You know, <laughs> this thing is a better zipper. Check the pockets to see if... AJ? Nikki? Nikki, where are you? Got a question. Where am I? AJ? Girl. Oh, look at you all pretty in that dress. It's the dress. I gotta get it. Ah! What happened to you? I, I, I put the dress on and I went back in time. What? People thought it was Emily and they were having a birthday party for me. I mean, for her. But I was her. She was me. It was unreal. Get out of here. I'm serious. The dress made me go back in time to Emily's party. Yeah, right. And was the nurse there, too? There you are. Uh-oh. Uh Not afraid of a little needle, are we? <laughs> she wants to give us the poison. Not us. You. You're the one everyone thought was Emily. Oh, you want to tell her that? What are we going to do? I don't know. Don't make me angry. Open the door. AJ. Wait, the dress. What about it? I can go back in time and become Emily. And what, open her presence? No, no, I know what happened. If I go back in time, I'll make sure I don't fall down the stairs like Emily did. And? And if I don't fall, then I won't get hurt. And if I won't get hurt, then I, I mean, Emily won't need the nurse. And if the nurse never shows up, then she can't murder Emily. Right, and if there's no murdering nurse, then there's no ghost of a murdering nurse. And we're saved. Excellent. I'm losing my patience. You're losing both your patients. Give me the dress. What? Why? Because I'm the one going back. But I'm the one they thought was Emily, not you. This is way too important. I don't want you messing it up. Darn! I'm not gonna mess it up. And besides, the dress doesn't even fit you. I gotta go. For once, you've gotta do things my way. If you mess this up, we're both history. All I gotta do is not fall down the stairs.
you are, Emily. Come on down and bring your gifts. Be careful coming down those stairs. Yeah, tell me about it. Last chance, are you going to open up? In your dreams, nursey girl. Oh. Emily fell. I know you're hiding somewhere. Maybe you will leave. No, please don't. No. Oh. Emily! Somebody call a doctor. Hurry! It seems I'm needed elsewhere. We'll finish this later. <laughs> Nikki? Man, I had the weirdest dream. Time for your medicine. It seems that we've had a nasty little accident, Emily. I'm not Emily. Really? We must have a touch of fever, too. <laughs> Get away from me. After you've had your little shot, you won't have any more worries, I promise. <laughs> Let's not do that again. I know all the secrets of this old house. We gotta get out of here. It's only a matter of time. I told you, I know all of the secrets of this old house, and it's time for your medicine. Ah! I am tired of this child. Take your medicine. No, no, I won't let you poison me. This is for your own good. Is that what you tell all the people you murder? Murder? Don't tempt me. One little pinch, and the penicillin will make you all better. No, I won't let you. Get away from me. Penicillin? Shh. I mean, I'm allergic to penicillin. Allergic? 
No, you're not. Uh, yes, I am. See, it says right here. Don't you ever take this bracelet off again. Do you hear me? I didn't know. You might have been killed. Well, yeah. Emily, I am so sorry. Well, no more shots, all right? Of course not. Let's help you off with this dress. So Emily was allergic to penicillin? Yeah, it was all a mistake. Hey, who's that? Emily grown up. She didn't die. So I guess that means you didn't screw up, huh? Awful quiet in here. You two aren't still ghost hunting, are you? Nope, not, not anymore. anymore. <laughs> That's a great story. So the nurse didn't mean to hurt Emily. She just made a mistake. Exactly. And that's supposed to make me want to go out and get a flu shot? I don't think so. Achoo! Could you keep those nasty germs to yourself? Uh-oh. Oh, man. I hope I'm not getting sick. <sighs> this place is like a nest full of... <sighs> germs. All right. Nobody breathe on anybody. Okay, we'll take different routes home. Later. <laughs> they just got their flu shots. They were... Oh, yeah. 